So you've installed PFSense on your WatchGuard Firebox, and now the fan speed is driving you crazy because it's very loud and annoying. We're going to remedy this by installing a program that's able to control the fans on WatchGuard Firebox firewalls. The program's name is WGX EPC, and it's available on a Google Sites um, host. So to install this, we first have to mount our file system as read-write on PFSense Nano. Otherwise, the CF card is going to be in read-only mode to protect the um, fairly fragile flash memory on those um, uh, memory cards. So, PFSense provides a number of scripts for you to automatically mount the file system as read-write and back to read-only. And they're located in forward slash etsy forward slash rc.conf underscore mount underscore rw. We'll go ahead and run the um, read write um, script right now. So just type in slash slash etsy slash rc.conf underscore mount underscore rw. If you type in, if you hit the um, tab key, it's going to automatically complete for you. And if there's more than one thing that matches what is trying to autocomplete, it's going to let you know. And that's what it just um, told me up top so it gives me an option for RO which is read only and RW which is read write we want read write so go ahead and add the W then press return now we're in read write mode the next thing we have to do is actually get WGX EPC so go ahead and type in fetch dash O and then we're going to point it to the directory where we want it to go which is going to be slash conf that's a forward slash space https colon forward slash forward slash sites dot google dot com forward slash site forward slash pf sense firebox forward slash home forward slash wgx epc then press return it's going to go ahead and download this for you and place it on your firebox and it's going to be located in forward slash conf forward slash WGX EPC. Also, just a note, um, all these commands are case sensitive, so make sure you type everything in exactly as, um, as you see on the screen. Now we have to change the permissions on this file so that we can actually run it. Um, since I've already run and downloaded this program, I believe the permissions are already set to work. Um, let's go ahead and check real quick. This command is going to read out the temperature on my firebox. And since it works, the uh, permissions are already set from last time. I'm going to go ahead and change it so that it won't work. Um, so we'll go over this real quick. chmod is change. Um, not actually sure what the mod means. I would assume modification. Anyway, type in chmod space. And then the next set of numbers actually has to do with permissions that are um, related to the file that you specify. In this case, it's WGX EPC. So type in ls, which is list dash al. That will give you a listing and all the properties associated with the files in this directory. And here we see WGX EPC is right here. And the permissions are listed right here. What you'll see is this first dash area. If there's a dash there in your inside of a directory, it means it's a file. The D is um, for directory. Then after that, with the permissions, they're related to your current user. In this case, it's root. And we have read, write, and then a dash. What would normally be here would be the X, and the X is for execute. And when the dash is there, it means that we don't have those permissions. Um, and in this case, it means that we are not allowed to execute WGX EPC. After that, we have the group level permissions, and then after that, we have everyone else or world permissions. So if I try to run um, WGX EPC right now, you'll see that I'll get a um, permission error. Permission denied, as promised. So we need to set this and enable execute permissions for us and probably for the machine. So we're going to go ahead and type in um, chmod. 0755 and then WGX EPC and press return. 
Now if we run the list command again, we'll see the permissions have changed. And now we have read, write, and execute permissions. And everyone else has read and execute permissions, but no write, so they can't modify the file. Now if we try to run um, WGX EPC, we'll see that it works. Just like so. Um, another thing, I think I skipped over it by accident. Um, when you're messing with this program, you need to be in forward slash conf, that directory. And to get there, all you do is type in cd for change directory, and then forward slash conf. You really need that forward slash in there unless you're at the root. So if you go to cd slash, which is the root directory, and then you type in cd conf, it will work. But if you try to get to it once you're in the directory or somewhere else, it's not going to, because um, what happens is without that first forward slash, um, it's now a relative directory command, so it's starting from where you currently are. And since there's no conf directory um, inside of conf already, it's not going to go there. Just keep that in mind that you really need that forward slash. Um, now after this, we actually want to alter our fan speed. So all we're going to do is type in a dot slash, and the dot is the execute wgx epc, and now dash f and then our fan speed. And it's gonna be a two digit hex code. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run dash F with no numbers after it and it will give me my current fan speed. And as you can see, my current fan speed is 10. Um, because this is a hex um, number, it's not 10 decimal, it's 10 in hex, it's a little bit different. Um, and 10 is pretty slow. It's about as slow as you can go without the fans totally being off. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to FF, which is full speed all the way on, and you'll hear the fan spin up behind me. And um, the firebox is actually in a closet in the same room that I am. And you'll hear how loud this is, and this is actually only two of the three fans um, plugged in. The third chassis fan is going bad on this particular firebox, and I unplugged it just because I couldn't take the noise. So there's the fans, you can hear it. Um, and you can see that the program works as promised and it did ramp the fan speed up. So now we're gonna go ahead and set the fans back down to 10 so it's nice and quiet. And you'll hear the fans um, drop in volume as soon as I press return. And there you go, it's nice and quiet again. Next time we're gonna go over how to install a script to automatically regulate the um, fan speed on the firebox based on the CPU temperature. And we'll also go over how to make sure that this program runs every single time you turn the firebox on. Um, and one last enhancement we'll make is going over how to interface with the LCD screen on the front so the backlight doesn't stay on all the time and burn itself out, and so that you can read off useful information directly from the firebox itself. Um, that's it. This is RJ Nunnally signing out for Hexhound.com.